physics, and I think it's a, we, we may, this may be some, some attack on the hens for you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, studying history and the developments in science and, and society's uh, response to, to different developments in science, and throughout history, at one point, something is popular and promoted by government or society, and then later found out that perhaps it's not as good as we thought it to be. So there's always room for growth in human history. And having a conversation is a healthy thing to have about these matters, because we are talking about children. And we can't just say it's just immunization, it's children in immunization. Just children is immunization, because if, if in fact you want to say immunization, Children immunization is perhaps leading to rise in autism, whatever the arguments are. We need to have that discussion, especially as elected officials are for looking out for the welfare of our, our, our children. My vote today will be yes, speak only in the sense that perhaps it is helping people keep people out of the hospitals. But uh, we, I think we need to continue to have this conversation, and I appreciate your words, Dr. Christie. Thank you. Councilmember Lester. Mayor, assuming no one else is in the queue, I'd like to call the question. No one else is in the queue. You don't, it's not a credit you call the question. I'll go ahead and move uh, Maybe to a vote on the item. Favoring, opposed. I'm curious, Councilmember Christie voting no. Item 14 is an option. Discussion? Favoring, opposed. No. I'm curious. I also want to thank Councilmember Patrick for also being a stalwart supporter of after school programs. 
And I want to thank uh, uh, Department Head <laughs> Joe Turner as well as specifically uh, Tawanda Thompson uh, for working with our office uh, to make sure that uh, we get a school site in the Fort Bend Houston area. Uh, prior to this, uh, they had never been an absolute site in Fort Bend Houston, and now uh, uh, they're working with uh, uh, the folks out in Fort Bend Houston to make sure we get a site out there. So very pleased uh, about this, and we'll be supporting. Thank you, Mayor. Let me say, say first that these are, this is a matching dollar opportunity. Uh, so that, that is good. But however, I want to say on the record that, you know, uh, they're not federal funds because the federal government doesn't have any money. Okay, they, they take the money from us at the local levels across America. And every now and then they will, you know, attack some type of strain or some type of our, our, our opportunity to allow us an opportunity to get some of those dollars back. And I'm thankful that the city is taking advantage of, of, of this opportunity to get some of our dollars back. And if we don't do this, simply the dollars are not garnered back. So this is a match opportunity. And any and everything that has to do with uh, summer programs, after school programs, and out of school kind of programs, I support that. Because we need to do more to help our boys and girls. And also in this particular RCA, uh, dollars will be forwarded to the Harris County Department of Education. And those individuals working over there, Dr. Lisa Carruthers and others, looking very closely at after school programs in 26 school districts across Harris County. But they work hard. They need these resources as well. And the Parks Department are doing a good job here as well. So I do appreciate the comments and encourage my colleagues to uh, support this item and move it forward. The children need the dollars. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I, did, I just want to correct the record. I, too, had a very early morning breakfast this morning, and I, I, I referenced uh, uh, Council Member uh, Brown.